All right, hello everyone, and please have a surprise to all of you. Please invite your friends and share this video right after we finish, with, especially with those who they are from Indonesia. Today, we have a big fish. Uh, yesterday, somebody sent me this link, and it was for someone, um, and later I found that he is a doctor. And you know me, I like to debate doctors because doctors are very knowledgeable. And this guy, he accepted the challenge because an Indonesian article saying that the Christian prince is uh, number one threat to Islam. So he decided to go and be brave. And I respect that on him, actually, because other Muslims, they don't dare. And he said, hey, Christian prince, I accept your challenge. And as usual, the only topic Muslim they speak about or they want to talk about is the Trinity. That because they don't have anything to say. And look what he said, the pagan Trinity. So he's insulting from the beginning. I'm not going to insult you. You insulted yourself and Islam by this video. So please invite your friends, guys, and we will start the video immediately. And you will see how Muslims they will end the career of this man and nobody will invite him after today unless he is a fool to teach anything I wonder if you teach in the university because that would be funny let us see what this guy he said and try to hold yourself from laughing and a true teaching from God or it is indeed just a worthless junk of various pagan mysteries and philosophies to expose your sloppy explanation on the doctrine of trinity i enter this debate in two parts in part one entitled christian prince and the pagan trinity i will expose your concocted lies about the trinity your floppy explanation is your concept of trinity attributed to your good and promising religion of Christianity. You portrayed your doctrine of Trinity as sun, light, and heat, and the three are one. Sun plus light plus heat. But all of them, still they are the sun. Nobody can deny that the heat of the sun is not the sun and the light of the sun is not the sun and the sun is heat and light three but it is one let me rebut your claim step by step my brother christian prince is this the way you portray your god if this is how you introduce and explain trinity god in christianity you have simply shown that the Christianity is a pagan religion introduced by Philo of Alexandria and his predecessor to the Roman. By embracing this concept, you have confirmed that you are poorly a pagan. This further reaffirm when you clearly use these pagan terms in the context of Christianity. You say it. So, for us as a Christians, God our Father, the Creator, He sent His light to us, and the light appeared to us as a man. So we can see that is light. In contrast, Jesus, a Jewish rabbi and a prophet for the Israelite, never used the term sun and light to represent His. Here you see how the Muslim they start lying. We never said that Jesus or we believe that Jesus is son of light. We said he is the light. You are being stupid now. You are literally being stupid. If we go to John chapter 8 verse 12, Jesus says, I am the light of this world. So why you lie from the beginning? The video you are playing, I just said. So just to make it as an example you know when, as an example i give the the, uh, the example of trinity about the water but doesn't mean that we believe that jesus is water so you're being silly 
secondly I never say that Jesus is a son of light I said he is the light and as long as this is a pagan belief to believe that God is light or he is son of light as you said which we don't believe really that he is son of light we believe he himself is the light of this world and we will show the verses but isn't it your Quran says that Allah is the light of this world And where the light of Allah is coming is it true that it's coming from a lamp which is in a tree Allah this is your Muslim translation not mine and this is your God Allah he is resembling himself as a lamp in a glass so based on you this is coming from the Roman mythology and this is a pagan statement to say that God he is light and he is born of a lamp you are the one who said that not me here we go your God Allah saying that he is a light or he is saying I am I am the same as but that will not make any difference because I am saying this is the same as too I'm saying I'm giving you an example hmm, to understand how the father the son the Holy Spirit but we don't believe the Son we don't worship the Sun we don't worship the light we don't worship the heat your God he copied my example saying that he is the light of the heaven and the earth and this is a parable of the parable of this light to make you understand how light function as if there were a niche with uh, and within a, within it a lamp and the lamp in a closed glass and the glass it were a brilliant star so where is the light of Allah is coming from as coming from from a lamp which is inside the glass which is coming from a blasted tree your god allah must be a tree then olive tree not only tree olive tree because olive is the one will burn the light so your light of god is a burning light so i can be silly like you and say hey okay, christian prince you are saying this but as long as you say that the light in the way i gave it this is coming from the Roman what your God Allah himself he is saying he is the light and he is born of a lamp because where the light is coming from is coming from a lamp which is a closed in a glass this is the source of the light which is coming from a tree and this light is very brilliant coming from an olive tree well thank you very much so this is how silly your introduction and how you try to refute me and you just admit that this is a pagan belief however if we go in the bible we will find that jesus said in the bible that he is the light of the world and you muslims you say where jesus says i am god worship me your god actually is copying the name of jesus trying to copy an attribute of jesus saying i am a light I am the light of the world exactly as Jesus said if we go in John chapter 8 verse number 12 I am the light of the world again Jesus spoke to them saying I am the light of the world whoever follows me will not work in darkness which means wherever Jesus is there's no darkness so he's not only the light of the world he is the one who will defeat the darkness whatever he is there's no darkness and that makes sense and the one who follow me he will not walk in darkness which means he will not go to hell because hell is a darkness but he will have the light of life so when you say jesus never said he is a son of light i agree and i never said that too and you are being a fool shame on you but Jesus says it clearly I am the light of the world and as you see your God Allah trying to copy Jesus trying to make himself equal to Jesus but no way secondly actually let us hear more so we can love his relationship with God see Matthew 15 how Jesus used a monotheistic Judaism term to describe his relationship with Almighty God, who chose and sent him as a prophet to his people, the Israelites. But he answered and said, 
I am not sent or chosen as a prophet, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 15, 24. Here we notice how the Muslims, they lie in the translation. And shame on you to add, choose as a prophet. What about I add this verse in the Quran and the next to the name of Allah and I put it next between two brackets and say Allah is sent as a prophet or Jibreel was a why you are adding things why you are fabricating it's a shame that you claim that you are a doctor but yet you give us and you provide us false translation adding between two brackets things is not in the Bible because Muslims obviously they are willing to corrupt anything for they are corrupt people if we look together, you will see he put with two, two bracket that Jesus he came as a prophet was sent as a prophet, but that is not in the Bible. Now here you said that he was sent to the Israeli only. Hmm. I will go to chapter fifteen, and I will read the verse you did choose for us. But there is something mystery about you. Why you did not quote for us what is after it? Is that because the women there she worshipped him? This is the gospel, and this is the chapter you choose for us. And you are the one who keeps saying to the Christians and to the Muslims, Jesus is a prophet. And as long as you agree that this chapter is saying the truth, well, let us see the truth there. In that chapter, in the verse you chose to us, it says, But he answered and said, I am not set but to the lost sheep of Israel, of the house of Israel. Then came she, and she worshipped him, saying, Lord, which means God, help me. The Muslim, they say, where Jesus says, worship me, where says, Jesus says, God, I am God, worship me. It's in front of you and you in purpose you did not quote the rest of the verses because it's a shameful thing for Islam will get you busted now saying that Jesus he was sent only to Israel because he was speaking to this woman who is not an Israeli so he was saying to her I came to the Jews I am from the Jews you know who I am I am coming from the Jews so you want me to help you and you say to me God so the woman she humbled herself and she worshipped him and she said yes and then we will find that Jesus in the from verse saying that I have sheep in other place in other fold if we go to John chapter 10 let us go there This is why we cannot trust any Muslim, even if he have a gray hair, because all of them, they fabricate when they try to debate us. But remember here, he said, he trying to prove that Jesus as a prophet was sent to the Israeli, right? But I'm answering him from the Bible, but in the same time, I will get him the best busting ever with a spank he never saw from his Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find in, in John chapter 10, it says that Jesus said, and other sheep I have which are not in this fold, and them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd, so the whole world will become one. And then Jesus in Matthew 28, he said, All the power given to me in the heaven and the earth, let us go to Matthew 28, verse number 18. I think it's 18. You know, sometime you... Yeah, I think it's 18. Look what Jesus said. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All the power given to me, in the heaven and the earth so Jesus have the control of the heaven and the earth all the power go therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father the Son the Holy Ghost 
now I'm going to get you spanked literally with red marks from the Quran because you Muslim you keep saying that Jesus is a messenger was sent to the Jews but the opinion of the Quran is different the God of Islam look like he is silly stupid he don't understand that the Muslims are smarter than him if we go in the Quran we will find the following I don't know if this guy I'm, I'm sure he don't know Arabic but I will show it in English and in Arabic in chapter 36 verse number 14 and let us go there it says that Allah he sent the three messengers two of them they are rejected and he string them with the third one and then if we try to find out who are they those messengers surprise surprise we find that they are the messengers of Je messengers of Jesus who said that is that a Christian Prince you see this guy later he will start showing us books in his hand made by the atheist attacking Christianity but shame on you those atheists they say that God does not exist so you are taking their words and now simply the atheist is the one who would teach you about God if we go to Ibn Kathir not the atheist and this is your best scholar he says and remember you are the one who said that Jesus was a prophet sent to the Jews but your scholars and your Quran have different opinion and we enforce them with the third means we supported them string them with the third messenger Ibn Juraj narrated from Wahab Nib Suleiman from etc the names of the first two messengers Shamoon Simon Peter and the th the second is Yohanna which means John in Arabic and the name of the third is Bulos which is Paul and the city was Antioch but you idiot you just said to us that Jesus was sent only to the Jews so how the messengers of Jesus they went to Antioch which is not a Jewish city stupidity is knowledge in Islam and the spanking will not stop here if you think we are done you are mistaken you just opened the gate of hell on you and every Muslim will be laughing at you for centuries to go the Quran says we never send the messenger except in the tongue of his own people Billy Sani Omihi I'm sure you don't speak Arabic you are a potato who pray to Allah in Arabic but you do not know Arabic and yet you have a PhD we, we sent not a messenger except to teach in the tongue of his own people okay those are the messengers of Jesus and you Muslim scholars agree that those not you by the way you are not a scholar you're a potato and by the way, I'm just giving you a rank by saying potato because usually I give different names. I mean, your rank now is better than the rest. I mean, we have to show respect. You have HD. We have sent not a messenger except to teach in the language of his own people. Okay, Jesus sent in three messengers to the people of Antioch, and those are his people. Jesus from Antioch now. Do you know what is Antioch? What's wrong with you Muslims? I mean, even your Quran is against you. Your Hadith is against you. Your Allah is against you and all of them, they are working for CP. And not only that, the Muslims explain how the messengers of Jesus, they spoke languages of other nations. You remember, you just said that Jesus was sent only for the Jews, brother. And I like it, by the way, when you call me brother, because this is against Islam. The prophet said, take not, he said, take not the Christians and Jews as a friends. So how you can call me a, a brother? Chapter 5, verse 51. Chapter 9, verse 29. Chapter 3, verse 28. You are a big fat liar. So why you are calling me brother when Islam forbid you? The Quran says, Only the believers are brothers. So you are forbidden from calling me brother, but yet because you are a hypocrite, you are practicing taqiyya, maybe. You call me brother. 
I'm not going to call you brother. I will call you sister. Now, if we go and see how Jesus was able to send those messengers, which is confirmed as we see from the book of Al Qurtubi, the book of Ibn Kathir, all the Muslim scholars agree that those are the messenger of Jesus. How they were able to accomplish such a mission. But before we go there, we need to ask a question, very important question. How Jesus sent messengers if he is a messenger? Only God can make me a messenger of God. So when you Muslims agree that those are the messengers of Isa, and the city is Antioch, you agree that Jesus is God. Because how Isa, which is supposedly Jesus, can send a messenger unless he is a God himself. A messenger, he cannot make you a messenger. Can your prophet make you a messenger of God? No. Who can do that? The one who have authority is only God. It's very funny and it's very stupid what is written in your books. It's very embarrassing. Even they are giving you the name of the guy who wait for them in the gate of Antioch. I mean, those Muslims, they knew everything. They were there. Hmm? They were there, brother. So in order for Jesus to send messengers, he have to be God on earth. Now we go back to the verse where it says that Allah, he sent them. And he strengthened them with the third. And you said that you are trying supposedly to fight the Trinity. But look, look here, Allah, he is weak with two. He can only make victory with the three. Can any Abdul tell us why Allah could not make it with two messengers? Based on this story, Muhammad should not come alone. He should come with the two other more messengers. Because two is not enough. Three Musketeer, the three musketeers of Isa. So you are making video to say that the Christianity is a pagan religion teaching a trinity, and your God saying, "Here we go." You know, let me tell you something. I cannot make it with two messengers. I have to send the three. And we will go back to the three. Hold on. But here, how those messengers were able to accomplish their mission? Surprise, surprise. Read carefully with me. This is the book of Al Qurtubi, Tafsir Al Qurtubi, interpretation of chapter 36, verse number 14. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, sorry, uh, Saudi Arabia. And you know what, actually, I'm going to use Google Translation because people might say, well, uh, we cannot understand anyway and google translation is not perfect but it's better than any i mean nothing right so if we go and take prophet google peace upon him let us see what the prophet google will say brother we will go to the end of the page this is tafsir al-qurtubi chapter 36 verse number 14 and we will go down all the way. And here it says, وَرُوِيَ أَنَّ عِيسَى لَمَّا أَمَرَهُمْ أَنْ يَذْهَبُوا إِلَى تِلْكَ الْقَرْيَةِ قَالُوا يَا نَبِيَ اللَّهُ إِنَّا لَا نَعْرِفُ أَنَّ تَكَلَّمَ بِأَلْسِنَتَهُمْ وَلُغَاتَهُمْ فَدَعَ اللَّهَ لَهُمْ فَنَامُوا بِمَكَانِهِمْ فَهَبُّوا مِنْ نَوْمَتِهُمْ وَقَدْ حَمَلَتَهُمْ الْمَلَائِكَ فكلم كل واحد صاحبه بلغة القوم فذلك قوله وأيدناه بروح القدس فقالوا جميعا إنا إليكم مرسلون Now let us translate for this idiot who claimed that he have knowledge what his scholars and his Quran is saying about Jesus and his disciples where he just said that Jesus was sent only to the Israeli and he is just a prophet Translation, Mr. Google, please. 
Let us go and do Google translation. Automatic translation. I have nothing to do with it. This is automatic, as you see. All right. And then it was narrated that Jesus, when he told them to go to the village, which is in Tiak, they said, O oh, prophet of God, we do not know how to speak their tongues and their languages. You potato, you just told us that Jesus was sent only to the Hebrew. He was sent only to the Israeli. And your book saying the opposite. So who is the donkey here? You or your scholars? You or your prophet? We need to know. And then Jesus told them to go and sleep. And when they woke up in the morning, the angels, they carry them to the village of Antioch. And every one of them spoke different language. Hallelujah. So the potatoes, they keep saying to us, Jesus was sent to the Jews. Jesus was sent to the Jews. We, okay, so Jesus, he told them, you are my disciple. Go and teach and preach in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And how they can do it. How they can practice such an order of Jesus. They cannot speak the language. He told them, go sleep. They woke up in the morning. They found that they are carried by the angels and they are landed, every one of them, in different city. And each one of them speak different languages. And this is in total agreement with Matthew 28, when Jesus says, and Jesus came to them and spoke into them, saying, All power is given into me in heaven and earth. Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. So, Mr. Abdul, we spank you with no mercy, and I hope my fingers are not going to leave marks in your bum. Now, we continue with your video. And excuse me for using such a language because you deserve it. With degrees we go back to the video in YouTube what else what more poo, poo he did here we go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Matthew 15, 24. If Jesus never used the term sun and light to, to represent his relationship with God, where did this term originate? And how did they find their ways as a dogma into the Christian doctrine? We showed you that Allah Himself is a light, and we showed you that we did not. We, we nobody said that Jesus is son of light. I mean, I don't know how many Muslims will respect you for saying a lie when my video is just played in your video. I never said that Jesus is a son of light. We are just giving an example, the same as your God. He says that He is the same as a light in a paw in a tree, and which is inside the glass, inside the lamp, and He is like a brilliant star, lighted up by an olive oil tree. Continue. One of the source of this dogma is the book entitled Basic Teaching of the Great Philosophers by S.S. Frost. So you are saying that this is your God when he said that he is coming from a light of a tree. He is taking it from basic philosopher. I mean, you are being silly, man. You are being really stupid. Because if the one who ever believed that his God is light, he is taking it from the dogma of false philosophy, that's mean your God himself is a false dogma too. Why Muslims, why Muslims use their brain before? I mean, this guy, I, I guarantee you, he prepared himself for maybe 10 hours to make this video. And then after all those hours, you come with this, you can tell like he did a lot of editing when he is making the video. But your God, he himself, he said that he is light. And not only that, he described himself as light like a tree light made from a lamp. And 
if you want to say that your God Allah he took his dogma from that book which is written not long time ago I mean this is stupid of you to say but that I will let you do that so Allah he's taking his dogma from there chapter 24 verse number 35 take a note please guys is coming from the book it's called basic basic what uh, basic what philosopher whatever teaching of the philosopher the great philosopher an expert in philosophy and religion from the city university new york the author explains in his book page 108 that being so exalted god cannot come in contact with matter but he gives off as light from a candle or sun being or powers which combine in one power which we call the logos or okay hold on okay, did he say god became like a candle or a sun did he say that like a candle we just showed you the verse we just showed you the verse allah saying that he is the same as a lamp as a candle so this guy he is shooting his god in his uh <clears throat> without knowing why because he's ignorant he do not know what is in his book because as long you agree that this is what the 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 the, the i mean i mean this philosophy which is supposedly fake and this is the whole point of you quoting that that this is false belief and your god he is taken exactly as you are saying and then you say which be called the logos or the divine wisdom the logos he created the world divine wisdom this logos create the universe and is the intermediary between god and the world this excuse me i took a snapshot uh, don't forget i like to take a snapshot because you will see why i like your finger up guys listen to what he will say now it's very important he will explain to you now he jumped from the word light and we prove to them that Allah is light he jumped from the word light to speak now about logos logos mean the word of God look what he will say it says there in the quotation that God created the universe by the word the logos look what he will say pagan dogma also appears clearly in the decision create Hold the universe on. and is the intermediary between God and the world this pagan dogma no no hold on i want to play again. Okay. as light from a candle or sun being or powers which combine in one power which we call the logos or divine wisdom this logos create the universe and is the intermediary between god and the world this pagan dogma stop uh, did he say this pagan dogma did he say that the logos the word of god is a pagan dogma creating the universe by the logos of god is a pagan dogma being intimate like a, a, a intercessor or like i see a middle person between man and god is a, a pagan dogma let us see what the quran says i mean you are a horrible person actually you are the perfect muslims to spank for the day actually for the month let us go and see how you did spank your God with no mercy. I feel sorry for your God. Truly, truly, I say to you, you are the best to spank Allah, not Christian prince. If we go and look at the Quran, we will find the following. Actually, before we go to the Quran, let us show this. Muslims question and answer the Quran was revealed by Allah not created You said That Allah or the God who cannot be on contact with the people because he is light So he become the, the word 
and he created the universe by his word. Let me let me put what you quote for us in the screen. Hold on, give me a second. So we will not be uh, misquoting, you know. This is why I took a snapshot to go back to it. All right. Which is called the Logos or divine wisdom. This Logos created the universe and the intermediary between God and the world. Well, isn't it? This is what Islam you teach you, Edith, and you say this is a pagan dogma. Do you just say that this is a pagan dogma? Is it your God who says that I created the world by my word? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with the Muslims? How an idiot, the Muslims, they call him a doctor, Dr. Munir. Dr. Munir, Allah will spank you with no mercy for what you just said. You need to pray Allah to Allah and kiss the black stone, which is nothing but a vagina. The Quran was revealed by Allah, not created. And here we have a question for you, if you dare to answer. How Allah is God, and now we have Quran, which is not God, supposedly, is not created. So who is the one who created the Quran? So the word of Allah is not created by Allah. It's created by who? Where it's coming from? Maybe he borrowed it from somebody. And here you see, he said that the one who believe that the word they created by the word of God, the Logos, he is a false and he is a pagan person. Let us go to the Quran. The yellow pages of Muhammad. Are we having a good time, guys? I hope all of you will download these videos, and I hope that the Indonesians specifically, they will translate and make subtitle in their uh, in their language. Look what Allah He said. Allah said, not Christian Prince. You said that the pagan dogma teach that God, he created the world, the, the whole universe by a word, by his logos. Read, Abdul. Potato, French fries. I mean, you are, you are going to be the joke for history. To him do all the premial origin of the heaven and the earth. When he creates a matter, he says, be, and it is. So how Allah created the universe, Abdul? By the Logos. Are you dumb or what? By the way, I hope... Uh, his family will be next to him when we watch his video because he might have heart attack. So you just said, and everybody heard you, I'm going to play it again, that the pagan mythology believe that the Logos, the Word of God, created the universe. Let me play it again, just uh, for fun. I like it. New York. Doubt explains in his book, page 108, that being so exalted, God cannot come in contact with matter, but he gives off as light from a candle or sun, being of powers which combine in one power, which be called the Logos or divine wisdom. This Logos create the universe and is the intermediary between God and the world. This pagan dogma also appears clearly in the Decian Creed 325 as follows. Thank you. So guys, this is a, this is a dogma, pagan dogma. And this is a story from the Greek people. I took another snapshot. Anyone notice why? I like to take a snapshot. I cannot resist that. 
because there I just noticed something I uh, I don't know what to say watch with me look what this idiot he said being so exalted God cannot come in contact with the matter but he gives off as light from the a candle it is you Muslims who says that not us it is you Muslims who says that nobody can see Allah we believe that Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God you Muslim do not believe in such a thing so this is a quotation about your cult Abdul not about my belief being so excited God cannot come who is the one who says God cannot it is you Muslims let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad I feel sorry for this guy I mean what you did to yourself what you just did all right your God Allah said how Allah can have a son and yet he how Allah can have a son why he cannot have a son because he don't have a girlfriend okay who is the one who says how can he it is your God which means Allah cannot have a son without having a concert if we go in the Quran we will see that Allah in the Quran come to Moses as a light because he cannot come in contact as you said with Moses otherwise Moses will die and by the way he's telling that story from the Bible in the Quran it says that when Moses he approached a tree or let us say a fire he saw from far away and then when he get close to it he heard a voice coming from a tree and the tree said the tree is talking but when he came to the fire chapter 28 verse number 30 he heard from the right bank of the valley from a tree in the holy hollywood ground oh moses verily i am allah the lord of the world going back to your quotation being so exalted god cannot come in contact with matter but he give off as light from a candle you said that not me what Musa saw there he saw a light actually he saw a fire in a candle and the candle was the tree but when he came to the fire to who to the fire to who to the fire this is your quotation You are a certified idiot. You are a certified idiot because you just prove Islam to be false. According to the dogma you are talking about, not according to me. Okay, shall we continue or the guy might die from heart attack? Because I have like a lot. I mean, this shish kebab. All over. I think my fingers now all, all over his body. The spanking all over. So you just approve to us, and you are the one who's saying this is a pagan dogma, and even you are giving us the source where it's coming from, brother. I'm so proud of you. I'm, I mean, you are so good to be true. You must be a messenger of Allah too, like Muhammad. But the only difference between you and him, you don't have a six years old wife. I hope you will get one soon. Pray to Allah. He, Jesus, is released light 
from light or sun, dear viewers, in order to support that Jesus is Logos, the second person of the Trinity, Christian Prince quoted the following verse from John 1.1. 1, 1. So before the Messiah came to earth, where he was, he was the Word of God. Sent down to Mary, and then he became a man. That's perfect. This is exactly what John chapter 1, verse number 1 says. In the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is the God. In John chapter 1, verse 14, it says, And the Word became a flesh. So the Word became a man. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Christian Prince. Christian Prince. By quoting this verse, you have committed a fatal blunder. I'm dead now. When Philo of Alexandria created this Logos philosophy early in the first century, he never dreamt of a carnal human being called Jesus. This guy looked like me, by the way. According to Philo, Logos is a universal principle. An anonymous person copied this principle from the Logos of Philo and inserted it as, an of, as the overture of the John Gospel to identify with Jesus. So, so, once you identify Logos with Jesus, it is definitely inadequate. Because okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, this guy, he I, I don't know which hand I'm going to spank you with now. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you just showed us a verse I quoted, and you are saying that the one who believed that the Word of God became a man, he is quoting this guy who looked like very handsome like me. I mean. This is, I think, when I was young, maybe, like a century ago. Like, look, look at, I look good, by the way. Never dream of a carnal human. Yeah, this is like me, you know. But this is before, like, you know, some changes happen. So the one who believed that the word of God became a man by quoting John chapter one verse one and John chapter one verse fourteen, you committed a fatal. You are an idiot. The same verse you were putting in the screen, it's saying that Jesus is the Word of God who became a man. You idiot! It's in the Quran. It is here. You are the one is quoting it. So if you are saying that the one who believe in this logos to be a man, they are pagan, that's mean your God is a pagan. You idiot, this is not John. This is Quran, it's chapter 4, verse 171. By admitting that whoever believe in such a thing, that the word of God become a man, you said he is pagan that's mean Allah and Islam is pagan too and I have an endless list of surprises for you get ready for the coming part of spanking by the way I'm not going to make more videos for you you are done I mean I, I, I do the laundry once that's it you are like an underwear which is a dirty one and that's it I'm not going to wash you over and over look what you just said You are the one is quoting what I quote in the video. And this is what I was quoting. Chapter 4, verse 171. O people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say that Allah but the truth, Christ Jesus, the son of Mary was, and between two brackets, this does not exist in the Quran, a messenger of Allah, that is the flesh. And he, his word. Okay, hold on. You are the one who said that the one who believe in John chapter 1, verse number 1, and John chapter 1, verse 14, where the Logos became a man, is a pagan. And this is taken from... Uh, blah, 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 blah. But this is what your God saying, you idiot. This is what your God is saying. Your God saying that Jesus is the word who sent it down to Mary. al ila Maryam, which means Jesus is coming from above. 
and this is in total agreement with the Bible where Jesus I am my kingdom is not from this earth I am from above so your silly Quran saying that Jesus he is a man yes but he is the Word of God and he is a spirit proceeding ing from him three in one by the way we don't believe in that I'm just giving you how Muhammad is trying to copy from John because you Muslims you have a very funny interpretation for anything but you just said the one who believe in the logos to become a man is copying that from the Greek Calamare. I think it's too much camera urine involved in this video where we stop here when I go back yeah Alexandria created this logos philosophy early in the first century he never dreamt of a carnal human being called Jesus according to Philo logos is a universal principle an anonymous person copy this principle from the logos of Philo I like it the anonymous I don't even know how to say it I like this the and I was the Muslims they have and well Allah is anonymous too and Jibreel is anonymous so maybe they are the one who copied that because we showed you in chapter 4 verse 171 they copy that and they say the logos became a man the word of Allah and inserted it as an off as the overture of the John gospel to identify with Jesus so once you identify logos with Jesus it is definitely inadequate because Philos Logos is not Jesus, who is a concrete reality as shown by Paul Tillich in his book, Time for A Snapchat. History of Christian Thought, page 15. Time for a snapshot. What does he say? The concept of Logos applied to Jesus is in an equation because Logos is a universal principle, whereas Jesus is a concrete reality his is a concrete personal life described by this term this is expressed in the great paradox of christianity the logos became flesh john 1 4. okay guys if if somebody want to go and uh, give some charity from the muslims for the soul of this person it's time to go because now this is the last one that's it, he's gone, his history. Look what he just did. I took two snapshots. That means it's a horrible thing. When Christian Prince, he take two snapshots, it means there's something horrible is going to happen. This guy is trying to confirm to us that this philosophy, that the Logos become a man, is a false philosophy. Let us put back in the screen what we took as a, you know, as a, as a snapshot. Okay. All right. This is the first one. The concept of logos applied to Jesus is inadequate because the logos is universal principle, whereas Jesus is a concrete reality. What does that mean? Jesus is real. He have a physical body. He have physical shape. The word of God is not physical shape. And he is saying that this is copy from the pagan. I advise you to take a vacation for the coming 20 years. Because what I will show you right now in the screen is going to make you sniff and try to play deaf for the rest of your life. Seriously. Let us go and see. Guys, uh, is that enough? Uh, should I go and continue more? Oh, no screen. Oh, sorry, guys. I, it's my mistake. I don't know what happened. Hold on, hold on. It's my, it's my mistake. Okay, let us put it again. Why I did that? I mean, uh, this is... It's my mistake. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, hold on. 
you see I I took the snapshot because when you stop the video that red line appear and we will not be able to read it you know so this is why I uh, I take the snapshot all right okay we will go back again no problem the concept of logos applied to Jesus this is by the way between two bracket which mean always he is inserting it when when you see two bracket it's mean it's a Muslim insert it's not in the book the Muslim fabrication I did not have the book by the way but when you see the two bracket it's mean there's some some bad smell there that's how the Muslim the same as he did in the beginning he says that uh, God he sent Jesus as between two bracket a prophet it's not in the gospel nowhere it says that it's a liar but anyway so the concept of logos is inadequate because the logos is universal principle where Jesus is a concrete reality that's mean you are just saying that the logos is not reality that mean you do believe that the word of Allah is not reality that's mean you believe that the creation of Allah is not reality because Allah in the Quran says if you want to say something he want to create something he said be and it's going to be that is the logos so by denying what is called logos to be not real or you are saying you're agreeing with this guy that logos is not real you are saying that Allah is not real because how you Muslim recognize Allah by his words what the Quran says about that it does get you busted All right. How the light of Allah come to us? It come to us in a book. Chapter 5, verse number 15. Do you see it? Do you see it, Abdul? I forgot you are blind. With your sunglasses. I mean your reading glasses so the Quran is saying that we knew Allah and his light by the book and by the way we showed you how Musa says he saw a true light which is fire how Allah he introduced himself as a candle for a burning tree and he called that a tree a holy tree do you see it so why you are saying that the logos is not a concrete reality while Jesus is concrete reality that because you are stupid and you do not know what are you talking about this is literally what who and who you are your God Allah said that the non-believers they want to distinguish or extinguish the fire of Allah the light of Allah by their mouth <laughs> do you see it but Allah will not allow them this is the candle we are talking about not only that actually the Quran says that Muhammad himself is a light which means you Muslims making Muhammad equal to your God Allah he said he is light and Allah said that Muhammad is light too and actually he is a lamp like Allah read with me and laugh at your cult try not to laugh if you can I mean Sirajan Mudiyan Chapter 36, chapter 33, verse number 46. Do you see it? You just said that the word of God, only pagan, they come with this mythology that it is or become something real. While we see in the front of us the Quran saying, that the word of Allah 
become Jesus chapter 4 verse 171 and the Word of Allah created the whole universe and we will go there too and here in the front of us the Quran claiming that Muhammad himself is a light and not only light he is a lamp Siraj and actually the word Siraj by the way it's a lamp but it says a lamp which is burning by oil and this is exactly what you copy for me a while ago when you said like a candle do you remember I like the candle thing I like candles actually do you see it in a form of a candle and Allah he present himself as a form of a candle and Muhammad he present himself as a form of a candle so what we will do now we should leave Islam because Islam is a stupid cult it's a pagan cult being so exalted God cannot come in the contact with matter but he gives off as light from a candle do you see it hmm. I think you don't see it you are a Muslim and Muslims don't see have you ever seen a Muslim he see the second he see he leave Islam now if we go in the Quran we will find something totally getting you busted ah, hold on we mentioned before that if Allah want to create something he say be and it was chapter 2 verse 117 chapter 3 verse 47 chapter 3 uh, uh, I mean we have tons of chapters in the front of us how Allah he used the logos and as an example here chapter 3 verse number 59 where Allah want to explain how Jesus was made the similarity of Jesus before Allah is the same as Adam he created him from dust then he said to him be and he was but you said that the logos believe is paganism and by the way the verse here in the Quran is very stupid because neither Jesus neither Adam was created by B Allah created none in the whole Quran by saying B Adam was created from mud and then Allah he breathed into it he did not say to the mud B and it was so he made a mud and then he fashioned the mud and then he breathed into the mud all those verses in the front of you saying that and i challenge you by the way, I'm sure you will make like a 1,000 video after this video. You will see that Allah says in chapter 15, verse number 29, how he created Adam, which is in a total contradiction for the other verse where he says that Adam and Jesus are the same in the creation. Allah said to them, be and they were. But as you see, neither Adam, neither Jesus was created by be. Here we go. In the case of Jesus, Allah supposedly he breathed into the vagina of Mary. Disgusting religion. Allah is a vagina blower. In the case of Adam, Allah he fashioned from the mud, which means he made a mud. And then, as you see in front of you, this is not my words, chapter 15, verse number 28 and 29. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I am about to create a man from a clay, sounding clay, from a mud, <coughs> modeled in a shape. <coughs> so what he did, he made a mud, and to make a mud, you have to mix water with dust. 
then after that second uh, number two we shape the mud and I'm not the one saying that excuse me I'm losing my voice so number one what we did we make a clay this is number one process I'm typing in Arabic all right so number one process is is making a making a clay number two making a shape do you see it okay what number three number three we fashioned him what number four are we done no then we breathe into him so when the Quran or the stupid author of the Quran says that Allah created Adam by saying B that is a stupid statement because this is not how Adam created in different verse in the Quran it says what can the insan wa and the human being was ever hasty we go to Ibn Kathir or Qurtubi or Tabari or Jalalain we will see that Ibn Kathir example he says that Adam he told Allah finish me before the sunset this is how slow Allah was but the point here he said whoever used the logos as a belief to create he is a pagan and this is exactly what the Quran says and not only that we are not done when you said that Jesus because we believe that we by quote by quoting chapter 1 of John verse number 1 and 14 we became pagan because this is a Greek mythology that the Word of God became a man what if I show you that the Quran become a man hmm? what you will do do you promise me to open your camera and do the monkey dance for us in the future let us go and see what happened I wish I can play for you the song it's called potato 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 but you didn't deserve it that one have a music the messenger of Allah said the messenger of Allah now let me let me say it in a very authentic way brother and sister Christian believed that this is God and he was the word of God and he became a man and this is impossible uh, brother Zach and I, uh, uh, Christian Prince you have a question and he said that there is a hadith where the Prophet said that in the day of resurrection the Quran will come in the shape of a man what do you say about that this hadith absolutely absolutely true but this man is different from the man of the earth today he going to be very handsome and he is going to have big shoulder and he have night hair blonde and he is going to be very like very uh, uh, qualified to be uh, uh, brother this is not a question how the Quran will come in the judgment day as a man not only as a man actually he don't look good it says as a pale man which means he is almost dead so this idiot he said to us that whoever believed that the word of God become a man is pagan and this is coming from the Greek and this is the word of God in Islam coming to you as a man hello it's me you're looking for da -da 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 -da. Hello. I make it wrong, by the way. What is that? What is that? And not only that, I, I, I'm not done. I wish I'm done. Actually, I'm going to finish it soon because it's it's endless. Otherwise, I have to show you reference forever. Let me show you this hadith and try not to cry. This is the last one. That's it. I'm, I'm done. It's not worth it, actually, because I can keep going and going and going forever. Look at this, guys. Look at this hadith. 
This is Sahih Muslim. Sahih Muslim. The Prophet said, Recite the Quran for in the day of resurrection will come as an intercessor in the video he said that this this logos will come as intercessor will come as a mediate between man and God but this is exactly what your book is saying Are you stupid or what? This is the best Muslims you have? The Quran will intercede for the Muslims and he will come in the shape of a man. By the way, in this hadith, we have more shape of the word of Allah, not only as a man. Read with me carefully. And those, he will come as an intercessor. So the Quran will come. As a person, remember the Quran is not created in Islam. Remember, we showed you that the Muslims agree that the Quran never was created. Never, which means he's divine. So we have two divine in Islam, Allah and the Quran. Then when we go to the hadith here, we find something very funny that the Quran will come. We showed you the other hadith as a man. Remember that. But some chapters in the Quran, they will come in different look. Read with me carefully. He said, the Quran will come as an intercessor for those who recite it. Recite the two ones, Al-Baqarah and Surat Al-Umran. For the day in the resurrection, they will come to you as two cloud or two shades or two forks of birds. I like chickens. I like chicken. I want, I want to see the chapter of Al-Baqarah coming as a chicken. You just said to us that whoever believed that the word of God became a flesh is a pagan. That's your prophet. And you're a prophet saying that your Quran will come to you as a chicken. In the best scenario, Turkey. Do you see it? Do you see, guys, why they don't dare to debate me? Now, I made a challenge for him in his page, saying I challenge you to call me live. Anytime you wish. Even choose the time I will go, even if it's early morning, I will go to come online just to hear you crying. My friends, all my beautiful, beloved people of Indonesia, we love you. If you are a Muslim or a Christian, we love you. Islam is a stupid cult full of contradictions and those who call themselves scholars are chickens the same as your Quran as you see Quran is coming to us as a chicken and they will come in ranks and look Muhammad is not even sure I mean what Muhammad is talking about why you are saying to us in the day of resurrection they will come to you as two cloud or two shade what two shade or two forks of birds or what about you continue says or two donkeys or two horses or two mule or two trees or two zucchini or two i mean what is this this guy he don't know what he's talking about or maybe Which one, which choice you like? The Quran come to you as a cloud or as a shade or as birds or maybe you like the Quran to come to you as a pale man which mean dead man. Shahib in Arabic which mean you know when somebody is so sick so sick to his like face have no color in it like I, almost he's dying. Muhammad saying in the day of resurrection the Quran will come to you as a sick man. And he will say, I am the one who kept you awake. Oh, thank you. I was wondering where the noise is coming from. I thought my, my friend, he ate too much beans.
So look how we destroy this stupid Abdul. His history is over. I'm sure he is going to make 1,000 video after this, but I'm not going to make more videos for you. You are done. You are history. You just proved to us Islam is a false cult. And you are the one who said, it's, it is documented. It is in YouTube. You cannot take it down no more. Sorry. It's you who said that those who believe that the Logos became a flesh, they are pagan. Brother, you say that, not me. People my witness. Stupid idiot. You know what? I'm going to hire you in the mosque of the neighborhood. So how many Indonesian they are in the chat? How many Indonesia in the chat? How many of you will translate this video? I know it's long, but it's extremely important. Please translate a subtitle in Indonesian language. I know it's not easy for a long video to, to do that. It's really hard job. But I hope that you guys will do that. For this is will show the Muslims before the Christian there how stupid this cult is. Those Muslims, they are just they have a mouth, but they don't have a brain. But here we are people who've been inspired and given the wisdom of the Lord. The Lord, he used us, my friend. This is why you look so silly, so stupid, very embarrassing. You see, when the Muslim, they try to debate a Christian, they try to make a mockery of him. And this is what you tried. But you have no idea. You are just stepping in the toes of who? You call me liar from the beginning. You said pagan from the beginning. I'm not going to call you a liar. I want to call you, you are honest. You said it clearly that the one who believed that the word of God become a man is a pagan. You are honest. This is your belief, brother. That's mean Muhammad is a pagan. I want to say thank you, everybody. Uh, I might come back again. Should I come back again later, guys? Or you have enough of me today? I think I think let people watch this video and please download it because I don't keep my videos in my channel as you know download it you can change that you know you can say why dr. Sahuni what's his name dr. Uh, Sa San Sani. thank God I did not go to Indonesia I will be horrible there by the time I ask for a sandwich I will be dead dr. Sanyihu Munir why he left Islam because he just or why he insulted the prophet you, you can create tons of names because all of them fit all right i will try to come back again later all right just give me some time to uh, you know i mean i have 13 wives as you know i'm prophet and 13 mother-in-law by the time i say to him good morning i mean the day is gone so uh i hope you enjoy this video and this is how we do it and if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. It is written in many languages. German, English, Spanish, you name it. And no Muslim can debate us for very simple reason. We are the followers of the almighty God. And they are the followers of the almighty black stone who will erase their sin which is in the shape of a vagina. We are the followers of Jesus. Your almighty black stone cannot help you. And by the way, as long as I mentioned that, because a Muslim might say, okay, you mentioned that, but you did not show us the proof. Where you get this from? That the black stone erase sin. Just a last thing before we go. As you know, we don't like to show something unless, I mean, we mention something without a proof. This is Hadith, which is a Sahih, brother, Sahih. It says, it was narrated from Abdullah ibn Ubaid ibn Umayr, that a man, a man said, "Oh, Abdullah, Abdul Rahman, why I do only, I only do, uh, why do I only see you? 
touching these two corners which mean the black stone corner and the Yemeni corner he said I heard the messenger of Allah saying touching them erases sin and whoever go around them seven times is like a freeing a slave you do not need to free a slave just go around the Kaaba seven times isn't it this is beautiful oh, there's no screen hold on let's put the screen on excuse me do you see it touching stones in the cult of Islam erase sin why because this is a pagan cult and yet you are calling us pagan you pagan who is the one who believe that stones forgive sin and erase sin by touching them that is the Christians only God can forgive sin that is Jesus my friend that's why Jesus says go and your sin is forgiven the Jews they said what who is this man who is saying your sin is forgiven he think is God he said which one is easier he read it, he even read their mind which one is easier to say your sin is forgiven or to say carry your chair and walk the person who cannot walk that is my Lord my friend and that is you kissing and licking a black stone which even your Islamic books describe it as a vagina and in your books it says that the black stone became a black because of the women of blood from period where women they used to touch their vagina when they have their period asking the god of fertility Baal, to fertilize the vagina which is the black stone so they can carry a son and you are dying and desperate and fighting and you fly all the way to the kaaba to go around the pagan house kissing a stone wishing that the stone will erase your sin pagan cult and you've been exposed thank you everyone for being here please download this video immediately after we finish it might take 15 minutes before it's loaded and then you can download it and share it with everybody and thank you for all the indonesian i love you all and i wish you the best if you are a muslim or a christian we love you all may the lord bless you and guide you to the truth and the truth will set you free this is was a christian prince with you and our victim for day is dr uh, <clears throat> uh sanihu munir please attend his house for the sorrow food is served and camera urine for the sad occasion take care thank you